Hello everyone and I, I have another a very nice very beautiful chess game from the Hastings chess tournament from 1895 and this is the chess game of Sigbert Tarash against Karl Wolbrod. Not everything is great at life. Unfortunately some people die very young and Karl Wolbrod was one of them. He was a very talented chess player from Germany and he died at the age of 30. He died very young just like Harry Nelson Fisbury. So in this chess game, Sigbert Tarash was definitely the favorite. He was not just favorite in this chess game, he was one of the favorite chess players in the entire chess tournament. So let's see what happened in this chess game. A very nice chess game. So Sigbert Tarash starts the game with e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, and we have bishop to b5, and this is the Spanish game a6, bishop back, knight to f6, knight to c3, d6, d4. And these are the opening moves, but I want to skip to the critical moment of this chess game because the middle game is definitely not interesting. So we have queen to g3, targeting the king side, lifting the rook up, knight back, lining the rook with the queen, and Tarash is doing the same, g5, and we have lifting the rook. So in this position, actually, if capturing the pawn, that would be a fatal mistake because rook takes on g5, also targeting on g2. So after defending the queen, rook takes on g2, and basically that is all over for white because the bishop is also aiming on g2. So we have lifting the rook up, bishop back, queen over, and threatening to capture the pawn, and then capturing on f5. So doubling the rooks, building up from the g-file and planning to capture the pawn and then attacking, landing on, g on g2. So we have g3, capturing the pawn, capturing rook takes on f4 and attacking on f5. Rook to g5, defending, doubling, attacking again. Knight to g7, defending with the knight. Knight to d6, a big decision by Sigbert Tarash, leaving the e-pawn and attacking the f-pawn. Attacking the f-pawn basically for four times. Queen takes on e5. And black is defending for three times, so capturing knight takes on f5. But in this position, actually, this is where black actually went wrong. Actually, black was doing a good job, but in this position, Actually, making a mistake is very easy, and black played knight to h5, attacking the rook, which looks like a logical move. So, in this position, attacking the rook and also intensifying the pressure on g3, so black can actually sacrifice the knight. And after capturing the pawn, maybe black can definitely attack the, g, the, g3, the g3 square. So after rook goes back, but where is the rook going? Seriously. So it looks like Sigbert Tarash is in trouble. But in this position, actually knight to e6 was the best move in this position. And black is doing actually a very good job. Black is not bad. It's, all, it's okay. But in this position, actually knight to h5 is failing to a move which Sigbert Tarash didn't miss that move. What would you do in this position? So if I give you a couple of seconds, can you guess the next move of Sigbert Tarash? He played the move, and after that move, Black is in serious trouble. So let me give you three seconds to pause the video, but if you only want to enjoy this beautiful chess game, just sit back, relax, and see the next move of Sigbert Tarash. So your time is starting from now. One, two, and three. Sigbert Tarash captured on d4. Rook takes on d4. This was the move. What a move. What a shot by Sigbert Tarash. And basically threatening to capture the bishop. And that's a discover attack to the queen. So in this position we have knight takes on g3. But if capturing the rook, then bishop takes on d4. Pinning the queen and winning the queen. This is all over. 
and if a5 then rook takes on d5 if some random move then queen takes on b2 rook takes on d8 and this is all over for black okay so you can see that black is in big trouble so we have knight takes on g3 okay black is also trying something knight takes on g3 rook takes on g3 capturing the rook because that was check attacking the queen but then rook takes check Attacking the queen. Is this losing now? If capturing the rook with the queen, then queen takes queen. Sigbert Tarash calmly played king to f1 and then rook takes on d3. And white is basically losing the queen. What would you do in this position? Well, actually, Sigbert Tarash played the move and Black resigned. Tarash shows no mercy to the young link. He played rook to g4. What a move. Oh, what a move. Ooh, incredible. And as a discover attack to the queen, the queen is pinned and Black resigned. The possible continuation, capturing the bishop, check, and then checkmate. Blocking with the bishop is basically the only defense and if queen to g7 which is a silly continuation then capturing the queen and then checkmate and if some random move then bishop takes queen and this is all over for black this is check so okay in the critical moment of this chess game where was this critical moment did you see actually Rook takes on d4. And then this move. Rook to g4. A brilliant chess game by Sigbert Tarash. And this was the chess game of Tarash in round 4 in Hastings chess tournament. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Take care and bye bye.